Aloha YouTube. This is your boy Crypto Roots, and I got the world's largest, dopest NFT alt punks collection on the internet. I will leave a link down in the description. You can check out my punks. Are they all fire? If you want to make a bid or want to buy one of my punks, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? You can do it on OpenSea. And if you want to help me hustle my punks, I'll break bread with you. Check them all out. Much love. Peace. All right. What's up? Aloha. This is class number five of the Platinum Group Mentorship. And this obviously so much to go over. There's a lot of information. It's very exciting. Um, so today we're going to talk about how not to buy assets and how not to sell assets and how you can potentially make more money in the short term and in the long term. Okay. So it's a lot of alpha in one video. So this is what you guys pay for. So I appreciate the support. So let me break down some game, right? And I can't stress this enough, okay? Because certain things people are going to be like, all right, I already get that, right? I already get that. But they still haven't applied it, though. Yeah, yeah, I understand it. I get it. But have you actually applied it? And they haven't even took the first step. So how can you actually get something as soon as I say it and then constantly hear me say it, but then never actually go and apply yourself? And then when I ask you, what are the, what are the results that you got from that? I haven't even tried it. But yeah, I get, I get it. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, if it makes sense, then why haven't you fucking done it yet? Sorry, but I, I hear so many responses. So when people are like, all right, I get that roots. Well, if you get it and it's worked for me, why haven't you done it? And, and you got no results from it. So let's cut some of this. I get it. Let's go and apply the information I'm telling you, right? And get results, right? And then maybe you'd be like, yes, I already get that part because I did this and this is what I got in return, all right? So first step, how not to buy assets, okay? How not to buy them. First step, and we always forget this. The whole purpose of cryptocurrency is to earn cryptocurrency and to spend cryptocurrency like I do. This is the reality of it, right? And you, you, most people are so stuck on having to use USD to get cryptocurrency. You are only stuck on one level of the game, bro. Whatever it is you do for USD, you should at least solicit and let people know that you do this same thing, if not different side hustles for cryptocurrency, okay? There's many different decentralized marketplaces decentralized ebays that you can sell goods on okay right I, you can you can sell uh what i sell my courses and then i give a discount it for anybody who wants to not deal with the centralized platform such as gumroad right so i always give an option for you to pay in cryptocurrency and for the most part i demand it from my uh, platinum mentees because this is what the game's about earning and spending cryptocurrency i'm earning it you're spending it that's the whole purpose i'm giving we're exchanging value all right. So don't underestimate the power of working for your cryptocurrency. Right. So that's how you actually don't buy it. I can't say it enough. And if you haven't made money by working for cryptocurrency with your own goods and services, then you're not on that level, bro. You're not on that level. And you need to work towards getting to that level because I'm telling you, it's going to open up so many doors and make your life so much easier. You know, so number one, working for cryptocurrency right? And you just got to let people know that you accept it. How can anyone pay you? If first of all, they don't know that you accept it and you don't have a crypto wallet. You have a crypto wallet. Just literally let people know you accept it. Literally let people know. There's uh, go to jobs for Bitcoin, uh, Reddit, go to jobs for Ethereum, Reddit. This is the alpha. If you want to look for another hustle, right? Crypto markets go up and go down. But if you want another hustle, this is where you start becoming an entrepreneur is working for cryptocurrency. I can't stress it enough, bruh. So number one, working for cryptocurrency. And that should be probably, you know, so number one is working for cryptocurrency. Number two is guild farming with that cryptocurrency you work for. Putting that cryptocurrency you work for in places that are going to get you even more cryptocurrency. And there's, there's, there's too many places to put it. We can go over. There's so many AMMs 
decentralized exchanges, automated market makers that, that you can put your liquidity in. There's so many, so many borrowing and lending platforms. There's so many uh, staking ways to stake your bread, right? You could just hold your bread, but um, that's what you do. I take the money that I work for and I go and farm with it. So we're, we're, let's go over farming, right? What is farming, right? There's different ways you can farm. Everybody, yeah, literally physically and virtually, right? But the whole, what farming is, is actually generating a new form of revenue, a, a new form of yield, right? So if you supply liquidity to compound finance, you are farming comp, okay? Right? So I, let, let's just go over a few things I'm farming. I'm farming ample forth. And if you don't know how to do that, this is what you'll have to hit me up for my personal time. I'm farming about eight or nine different coins and there's a few more coins I should be farming. Right, so this is all free money I'm getting with the with the money that I worked for. I'm gonna say that again: the money that I worked for, I put it in places to give me even more of the free money. Okay, and I take that free money and then I keep compounding it back in. So this is how you don't have to buy assets. This is number two, right? So you yield farm, you yield farm with the money you worked for. I can't say enough. It sounds so simple. Yeah, I get it, Ruth. Yeah, I get it. Well, fucking go and do it then. Go and do it. And I'm telling you, you're gonna. You, it's a whole different ball game, right? You got to take into account to all the fees, right? The APYs that you're getting, the different liquidity pools. Like, so this is where the strategy goes to. But I'm. I I don't have to worry about purchasing these assets anymore, bro. I don't. Now the next step up for me. It's to take these assets that I'm farming, that I worked for and I'm farming and throw it into an index token and then distribute that and make a management, a, pro, a performance fee. I, I, being an asset manager, I'm going to take all the coins that I'm farming for free, throw it in the index, have other people buy the index and still uh, generate a fee for managing and setting up the portfolio for everyone's buying the index. So additional form of money, right? Which is additionally broken down to 10 different tokens that I already want, right? So, I mean, it's, 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 it's an endless game of just profit and finances. 